Hello there, this is Richard Spirits Garden, and this is Pocky and Rocky Reshrined on the Nintendo Switch. Lovely stuff. This is the uh, Switch dashboard, and this is Super Snap playing. Here we have a black screen. Oh, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Look how black that is. Oh, it's inky. Natsumi, serious fun. Natsumi Atari, the dream creators. And Tango Project, lovely. Licensed by Taito. So this is a update of Kiki Kai Kai Ninja, AKA Pocky and Rocky from the Super Nintendo. And that game is a great shoot 'em up. It's uh, pretty and it sounds great. This tune is lifted directly from that game. So it's very much an update, not really a conversion. Uh, we've got some display settings here. We've got online rankings. We've got a story mode. Start from the beginning. Let's start from the beginning. And let's go on normal mode. Because uh, this game is balls hard. The original SNES version is not a hard game. It's a cool game. An expensive game, uh, if you wanted to buy the Super Famicom version of the original, it's in the two to three hundred pound bracket, at least. If you can find an unfaded version with a pink box, because it comes in a pink box. We've got a tune key. What's one, Rocky? Uh, Monsters of the Mountains on the loose, oh dear. Uh, we've got a tweet story. Anyway, yeah, the original is 300 quid. And obviously it's not worth that much money, but it is a cool game. So they've gone back to the drawing board. They've expanded the levels. They've used sprite-looking graphics. They've kind of hand-drawn in the old styly, And they've created this game. And uh, yeah, they've basically lifted the soundtrack by the sounds of it, all of the soundtrack, just upped the um, quality, which is fine. All the controls are very similar. You have the ability to slide along the floor, you have the ability to flail your flail, which blocks bullets and enemies. Although larger enemies can walk through the flail and still get to you. Graphics are obviously higher res. Uh, you've got an extra weapon in here as well. So you, in the original you had the cards, the spread cards, and the fire. Here you've got the green thing, and I can't remember for the life of me what it gives you at the moment. Because I don't tend to pick it up, because I'm a traditionalist, and I stick with the cards. Everything spits out money. Uh, in a level, if you can find them, there's a character that's like a shop, and you can buy stuff from uh, the shop using the coins. The bad guys spare. Here we've got some environmental effects. Lovely stuff. Yes, this game is harder than the original. This this bit here, this is a new part. This wasn't in the original game. This part of the level. Guys, pick up the coins. Yeah, so it's a tough top down scrolling shooter. I paid about 20 quid for this, and I find it very difficult, fairly annoying. I uh, haven't played it as much as I'd like to have, basically, because I found the difficulty infuriating. Uh, it's a real barrier to entry. If you're new to the game, in any way whatsoever. Uh, and I'm not. I've played this game many, many times in the Super Nintendo, Stroke Super Famicom. You'll find the controls and enemy setups infuriating. You have to use the flail. That's the secret of success. Oh, is that leaf coming there? That's nice. Yeah, it's a pretty game. I uh, can't, can't say fair on that. Yeah, you have to use uh, good use of the flail. We'll see you all right. And the dodge, the diving around on the floor dodge, is also very useful. 
This game does something different actually from the original. On level 2, if you're playing a one player game, I think you get to play as the Tanuki, even if you don't want to. Which is. Uh, well, it's the Tanuki, Tanuki's got a different move. It turns into a statue rather than jumps across the floor. Which can be a move. This section's all new. Lovely spot works. Yeah, so it's a very pleasant looking game. Um, I wouldn't recommend it if you're not into uh, rock hard top down shooters though. Even though I only pay 20 quid for it. It's alright. It's alright, like. Oh yeah, and you get a smart bomb as well. There you go. Oh, it's got reflections in it. Oh, really good. Uh, yeah, that's Pocky and Rocky. It's all right. I can't say fairer than that. Uh, just watch a bit more. See if you like what you see. If you like what you see, and uh, you make your own decision. But what I will say is, it's not massively expensive. It's just bloody hard. So if you like a challenge, do pick this up. If you're the sort of person who gets easily frustrated and gives up after three goes and can't do something, don't bother. Ooh, got a uh, boss here. It's going to spit beans at me or something. There he goes. Take him back and get a face, you son of a... Shoot some cars... I somehow died into the corner of the screen. Some nice leaf action there. Very pleasant. Yes, yeah, so watch the rest of the video. See if this is for you. It may or may not be. Like I said, it is cheap. And it's alright. Okie dokie. ta -ra.